Hello, this is Shar from The Real Kitchen for Real People, and I trust that everyone is doing and feeling well. Today we have an old-fashioned recipe, and but a, a goodie. It's the fried potatoes and onion. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it was like uh, once a week at least, we had fried potatoes and onions, and when they're cooking, they smell up the whole house. And they're delicious any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So today, I want you to just come with me and cook with me as uh, we prepare fried potatoes and onions. And these are the ingredients here. You have uh, salt, pepper, onion powder, and of course your potatoes, and paprika and onion. And that's about it. That's the simple but delicious recipe. So we're going to get started. First you want to peel your potatoes. Okay, what I have here in this bowl is two large potatoes cut up. And I cut them about that thick. If you can see that. And just cut them up and then once you cut them wash them real good and put them in the bowl and get them ready then you want a whole onion sliced it don't matter how just just get it sliced and we're just gonna slice that up in the bowl and I like to use uh, the sweet onion I don't it just seems like it has a stronger uh, taste and smell to me but you can use any uh, onion you want and this one is a, a medium medium to large onion it's pretty large I guess because I like a lot of onions in my potatoes fried potatoes and onions so these are the ingredients that you will be using like I said you have two potatoes sliced and then you have a large uh, onion sliced. And now I'm going to show you. Uh, you're going to heat some oil in your skillet. And I use a cast iron skillet for this. And so I'll show you. Okay, you're going to turn your skillet on medium. And add your oil to your skillet. Use the oil of your choice, but I'm going to fill that up about, let's see, probably about that much oil, if you can see it. It's look like about a fourth cup of oil to your skillet, and let it heat up. Okay, now you want to add your potatoes going to kind of toss them around just a little bit. I don't want them to break up. So toss them around. And now add your onions to the top. Fill the onions up to the over the potatoes. And 
And now you're going to add your seasoning. You got about a tablespoon of each. Tablespoon of onion powder. Tablespoon of black pepper. If you like a lot of pepper on your fried potatoes and onions. It's all about the black pepper and the onion. And about two teaspoons of salt. And a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, and now you're going to let uh, let that simmer just a few minutes, about five minutes, and then we're going to toss it. Okay, now I'm going to toss this over gently. Just kind of turn it over gently. Until you get all your seasoning and on incorporate it into the potato. So just keep turning them just slowly. And I'm gonna add a little bit more onion at the top. Like I said, it's all about the onions. And if you don't like onions, I guess you can just use your onion powder and avoid the sliced onions if you don't like onions. And now I'm going to cover uh, the skillet and let it simmer. I'm going to turn it down on medium low and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, after 30 minutes, let's toss them again. Lightly toss. Because you don't want to break your potatoes all up. So you just lightly toss them over. And you can add more pepper, black pepper if you like, and salt. You can add the seasonings to your taste. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, a tablespoon of butter. Okay, that's a tablespoon of butter. And then I'll cover it back up and let it simmer for 30 more minutes. Okay, you uncover your potatoes and you will have fried potatoes and onions and they are delicious. Just fabulous. So I'm going to just add just a little bit more black pepper and give them a taste. Okay, I'm going to taste these and see how they taste, which I know they taste good. Make sure there's, there's enough seasoning on it. Mmm. Beautiful and perfect. They are so delicious. And some people add cheese on it. I know some of uh, my kids add a sprinkle of their favorite cheese on it when they're putting it on their plate. But this is the baseline of old-fashioned fried potatoes and onions and they are scrumptious so if you like this recipe comment below and give me a like if you like it give me thumbs up on that but I promise you you will enjoy these old-fashioned fried potatoes and onions because I'm sure enjoying it right at the moment so if you haven't subscribed please do so so you can continue to receive notification of these great uh, home, home 
old-fashioned recipes and don't forget to check out my cookbook which is located on Amazon and it's under the real kitchen for real people that is the name of the cookbook and you look under Char books and I'll put that information below and also I will also have some of Amazon's affiliated uh, links to where you can uh, get certain products that I used in this recipe on Amazon so without further ado you know what I'm fixing to do I'm gonna get with it and chow down so until next time love love